Well, Mike, hundreds of parents joining that virtual meeting tonight asking the board about this alarming robocall they got earlier this morning about a threat that they said was made to this campus and many demanding better communication from the district. And the student who was identified is not presently in school. The high school principal Shelly Manns addressing parents tonight, saying the school received a tip from a parent this morning that a student threatened to shoot up the school while recording an Instagram live. When we received the threat, students were already en route to school. So our first concern was to, OK, let's make sure that we um, those parties that were identified were not in the building and to make sure that our students got into class. She says Allegheny County Police identified two students involved who didn't come to school this morning. The school was immediately placed on a soft lockdown. Police talked to the students' parents, checked their phones, and found nothing. But Principal Mann says rumors started to fly. There were statements made. I'm not sure where the source came from that during the check-in, a gun was found, um, and also that a student had brought a gun to school. Um, those statements were not true. That sparked a rush of parents to come get their kids out of school. There was nobody there really telling us anything. You know, and you had these parents, like I said, walking in and out. Doors were opening. Kids were walking in and out. Parents questioning security measures. Personally, for my for my kids, I've heard that kids are sneaking stuff in there through their book bags because the security guards are not checking book bags all the way. I know for several different students that weapons have absolutely made it into the building undetected. To that, Superintendent James Harris says he's not aware of that happening. Safety and Security Coordinator Mike Petragallo said more security is going to be added to the morning arrival of students. So what we're doing is now we'll bring the additional guards up from the intermediate school in addition to what we have on staff. That'll give us more personnel to check the bags, to do the metal detectors in the morning, And some saying concern is at an all time high after that fight last week and now this alarming robocall early this morning. Uh, but the superintendent responding to those concerns saying that anyone involved in that fight last week, if they were involved criminally, criminally have been cited. And he said that some have been suspended for the maximum time, which is 45 days. Reporting live tonight in Churchill, Kaylee Gunderson, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.